Hello Cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. And it's the 1st of September, and you know what that means, it's meal plan day. I need to get the meal plan on the whiteboard and onto the fridge, so my family knows what we're eating this month. I thought I'd take you along with me as I do it. So meal plan, I actually meal plan a year in advance. Just makes life so much easier. I shop a year in advance. I meal plan a year in advance. Eee, it's a breeze. Anyway, let's get started with September and I'll talk you through my methodology, if there is one, for meal planning as we go. Now, Cheapskates Club members, don't forget, the meal plan is in the meal plan archive for you. You just log in and go to meal plans and you'll see September there. You'll be able to download it and use it um, as a template for your meal plan for the coming month. Now, I'm just going to tip you down so that you can see what I'm writing. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And we'll get started. Okay, now can I get you a bit closer? see if I can get you a bit closer. I don't know whether I can or not. Let's try. Let's see. Okay, now you're all crooked. That's not going to help, is it? Okay, is that a bit better for you? Hmm? Right. Now I've written the month, September. The notes, we have a birthday this month. So that means one night birthday person gets to choose dinner um it's on my handy dandy magnetic whiteboard calendar thing that I got from Kmart and I love it right now I've gone ahead and because if you followed my meal plans for a while you know every Thursday pizza 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 that's what we eat pizza well the boys and Wayne eat pizza I usually have a, a freezer meal because I don't like pizza. I know, can't help it. All right, Friday the 1st, and we are starting with one of my favourite meals, and it's a meatless meal tonight, and that is mock fish. If you're a Kiwi, you might call it mock white bait, and we've got chips and salad now the chips homemade that's so easy to do in the oven tomorrow night we're having tacos yum yum everyone will be happy and they are simple too i don't use hard taco shells i use whatever wraps we have mission bread um mountain bread um tortillas whatever and make soft tacos and if we've got tomatoes we'll have tomatoes in them if not i'll use a tin of tomatoes in with the mince which will be a jar from our food storage now on a sunday we always have a roast this week it's roast lamb which is a good thing because earlier this week i was able to pick up a side of lamb reduced at um, Australian butcher <laughs> store oh, so good I got um, it was marked down to $34 and there was a leg of lamb loads of lamb chops yum 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 a couple of bones have gone into the soup pot so roast lamb for Sunday which means that the next Sunday will be roast chicken because I alternate and then after that we'll have roast beef. Now, if I don't have a piece of roast beef in the freezer, I will take out chops or I will take out steak if we've got it or I will make burger patties or something and do roast vegetables for that meal 
we will still have roast. And then that means, of course, the next one is roast chicken. Now I alternate them, lamb, chicken, beef, chicken, because chicken's cheaper than lamb and beef. Especially when I can get the whole chickens on sale. Woolies used to do them on sale around back to school time, January, late January, early February for $2.99 a kilo. They did a short time earlier this year and I stocked up. I'm hoping they'll do it next year too. According to, um, according to who? Anyway, chicken's still the cheapest meat in Australia. Okay, so Monday is um, quick rice patties. And because we're in spring already, salad. He's been dying for salad. Tuesday's refrigerator lasagna. Now, I always do two of these. Double the recipe and freeze one. Just means I've got one as a backup for later on. Uh, Wednesday's Mexican lasagna. Huh. Didn't plan that very well, but it's a bit different. Now, the recipe for both, or for quick rice patties, refrigerated lasagna and Mexican lasagna. We'll have salad with those and salad with those. Um, are in the recipe files. So type Mexican lasagna into the search at the top of our website and it will bring up for you and you'll be able to go and find it. And then um, pizza on Thursday, Swedish meatballs. Oh, yum. And cream sauce. It's the cream sauce I like. And we have these with noodles. You probably can't read my scroll, can you? But I can. Friday or Saturday is um, the birthday, but otherwise we're going to have fish cakes. If you can't decide, he'll decide. Then, of course, our roast chicken. Moving on to Monday the 11th is apricot chicken. Now, this will be a freezer meal because I have some in the freezer. And we have that with mash to sop up the sauce and, of course, veggies because we do veggies with just about every meal. Tuesday is our pasta Italian-style night. And I've got ricotta gnocchi. Now, I picked up ricotta at Woolies a couple of weeks ago and marked down to $3 a kilo. Woohoo! So perfect for that. It's in the freezer. Wednesday is tuna surprise. Again, the recipes are in the um, recipe files with salad. Tuna surprise. I do a big one. I usually do my lasagna dish and I will portion it out. We will get three three meals out of that at least. And if I portion it in single serves, then I can have some for my lunches. Um, and pizza, then zucchini slice because we've got zucchini in the freezer. That needs to be used up with wedges oh, yum. and salad, of course. You can tell as soon as soon as eh, officially spring, I like salad. And then we've got haystacks. One of my most requested recipes. It's in the recipe file. There's a couple of different ones. Okay, then we are going to roast beef. On the Monday, we've got, um, I've written tomato and onion quiche. But really, it will be whatever veggies are in the fridge. There might be mushrooms, carrots, um, spring onions. There could be um, 
cauliflower or broccoli or silver beet, whatever, it will go in there. Um, spaghetti pie for pasta night. My mum used to make this and it is so good. And we'll have it with salad. And if I've got rolls or something, we'll have garlic bread with it too. Wednesday, one of AJ's favourites is Kransky and hot potato salad. Um, three Kransky will do the five of us. Slice it, brown it, add some onion, sliced onion, and let the onion cook with it. Then I add barbecue sauce. Sometimes I make it. Sometimes I'll use it out of a bottle if we've got it. Cook it through. We have it with hot potato salad. It is delicious. Um, pizza. And then I've got... Fish cakes. I was just looking. I thought I had fish cakes twice. I have. I've got them on up there too, which is all right because if you're going to make them, you do a lot because they're a messy thing. And potato jams, which I will buy. Sorry for the noise. We've got neighbours with workmen doing something on their house. And Saturday is burritos. what type will depend on what we've got in the fridge with roast chicken for the Sunday. Then we've got Monday the 25th and I've got steak and veg with potato back. Um, there is steak in the freezer to be used up. Pizza of pizza night. Sorry, guys. Pasta is cannelloni. And salad. We don't mind that. Wednesday will be a meat pie. I will use um, a jar of mints, a jar of my home canned mints, to make the meat pie with mash, peas, gravy. How's that for a meat pie, peas, chips and gravy? Well, we're having mash. We've got pizza on the Thursday and then on the Friday, I've got tuna surprise again. Why do I have tuna surprise again? Because I'm making it up here. And I make my lasagna dish full and get three meals out of it. And we will eat it again. It's a couple of weeks apart, so it's not quite so boring. We'll have it with salad. And then muffin surprise, which will be an easy night on the 30th. That's our meal plan for September. Um, the roasts are done. The pizza's done. The Past the meals are done. I've got um, one, two, three, four, four, only four. We've got uh, mock fish, cooked rice patties, ricotta gnocchi. Zucchini slice, haystacks. Okay, I've got five, five meatless meals in that month. All right, tipping you back up again. You up so you can see me because you're not talking to nobody. Just talking to nobody. I had to close the blind before because the sun came out. Just as I turned the camera on, the sun came out and I quickly went and closed the blind. That's the meal plan for September. It's pretty easy. Um, there are no freezer meals scheduled for this month. I have been slotting in the odd freezer meal actually as part of the meal plan this year just to use them up. But 
it give me a break from having to supervise, if not get dinner. I'm happy with the um, five meatless meals we have. Don't forget, if you are a member, you can log in and download your copy of this. And the recipes are in the recipe file. Really simple. It's nice to have it all laid out so that I will know if someone comes and says, what's for dinner? I can say, look in the fridge. But I don't. they don't ask anymore. They usually just look at the fridge and see what's there, which is really, really good. So... If you liked my video, thumbs up would be very much appreciated. It helps the algorithm with YouTube, makes it easier for people to find our channel. And of course, if it's easier for them to find our channel, it's easier for us to spread the message that it's perfectly okay to live life debt free, cashed up and laughing, and absolutely possible to do so in 2023. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We'll notify you when there's new videos going up. And if you know someone who might like my meal plan or to know more about the Cheapskates Club, there's a share link. That will click that, send them the link. It's up to them then if they choose to have a look. We don't harass them at all. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below me in the comments section. I do read all your comments. I do my best to answer all your questions. Um, just give me time to do it. <laughs> so I don't sit all day, every day on my computer watching and waiting. Otherwise, I'll be back on Sunday with our second Back to Basics um, video and get that series off and rolling again. Okay, thank you. I will see you very, very soon with another Cheapskates Club video. And until then, happy cheapskating. Bye.